Hello, um, it's me, Alessia. Um, I asked you guys to send me some stories of your best day ever that you've ever had because I want to read them and share and talk a little bit about your best days. Um, the song Best Days is kind of about me fearing that I wouldn't have any best days personally. I think it could also be positive too, so I wanted to kind of share all of your best days and, and talk about the good moments in our lives as well. So let's get into it. The first one. This is by Freddy Krueger, <laughs> at rebel underscore scum. Great name. Um, the day my dad asked me all of a sudden if I wanted to start taking testosterone, of course I had to go to my endocrinologist. And he took me there and after the checkup, he took me to the pharmacy and bought everything I needed for it. That's amazing. That is a great mark to the rest of your life. So I imagine that would be a very memorable day. And um, I think, you know, the day that you are accepted by, um, you know, people that you really love. I think there's something really beautiful about being accepted and fully, um, you know, supported by the people that you love most and the people that should love and support you the most. So that's amazing. Kudos to your dad and kudos to you. Congratulations. I hope it's going well for you. All right, next. Lily Chozik with two Ks says, probably the first time I actively participated in saving someone's life as an EMT, not much beats that feeling. My gosh, um, my best day would probably just be like, you know, get, getting a coffee on a nice day and yours is like saving someone's life. So that's a huge one. Um, congrats on that. I mean, thank you for all of the work that you do. I imagine that those people are extremely grateful to you. So that is a huge, huge deal. Matom Sabella says, winter boot camp, academic, week long, theme song, hashtag scars to your beautiful. Amazing. First time hearing it, by the way. Last day, um, which is the 7th of July, 2017, we had different groups perform plays we wrote promoting self-love inspired by the song. It was a beautiful thing to take part in. Wow, well, I'm very honored that I had a small part in your best day. That's really amazing. And I would have loved to see all of those plays that you guys did, but um, that's amazing. I think self-love is something that should always be celebrated and talked about. So, wow, very happy to have been part of that unknowingly. Um, emotions galore, amazing. Or Ella in the meantime is her Twitter name. Um, when I was around three to five years old, I would spend most of my days with my grandma and I remember the smell of her food, the sound of her voice and everything about this period of my life. She died when I was six and I still miss her even though I'm 24 now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss, but that's such a beautiful thing to have those memories, even though you were so young. The fact that you remember those things so vividly is really, really powerful and special. And um, I'm sure she'd be very proud that she's part of your best days ever. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my grandparents around and I still remember all of those beautiful times growing up too, you know, being with them, it's very special. Next. Um, Karacha Lover, <laughs> that's a great name as well, says, that's a hard one, but I'll have to say it was the day that I started therapy. Amazing. It's funny because it started out as a horrible day, but after the session, I just walked out and sat in the front square. It was a sunny day and I stayed there for hours thinking, and then I did some reading. I managed to get the pain out a little bit and started to undo the knots. I knew that even though the process was long, with this step, I had already won. Amazing, that's great. It was the best day I've had since I can remember. I call my friends at the end of it to tell and spend time with them. We watched some musicals, LOL. <laughs> that's amazing, that is so good. I feel like that's um, a similar feeling, you know, for everybody when they start therapy. It's oftentimes very uncomfortable, very scary. Um, it doesn't get good until you start really, like you said, undoing the knots and, you know, kind of tying up the frayed ends a little bit. But I think, you know, the discomfort oftentimes is like where the good stuff comes from. So I'm glad and very proud of you for taking that step. And I hope that it's working well for you. Hope it's working wonders. Therapy is great. I would recommend it to anybody who can do it, of course. Next, Little Bean or Caravcello says, I know you. Um, that day when I got my master's degree in pedagogy, pedagogy, I decided to go to uni and become a teacher because of my teacher from primary school. Um, I wanted to be a role model for kids just like her. I think that helping kids, not only them, is always advisable. I'm doing this with a smile on my face and I know that I don't change the world, but I can improve it. I think you can change the world. But also, the 2nd of April, 2019, when I saw your performance in Kraku, um, and Liv gave you and your team a gift from me. I remember that day very, very clearly. Um, so I'm glad that that was part of your best days. That was one of my best days as well. Um, but also, that's so powerful that you're doing that and that, you know, you want to change the world for the better. I know you said you think that you can't, but I think, you know, 
one person can do such a huge difference, can make such a huge difference in, in people's lives. And the fact that that's your intention and your goal is already such a powerful thing. So congrats on that. This just in, this just in everyone. Pedagogy is the word. Um, and it's when you work with, with children. So it's not um, limited to children, it's anybody. So education in general, that's amazing. I'm very happy to again be a small part in your best day. Um, Becky Boo is next. I love Becky, she's amazing. Um, this is a hard question, she says, but I have to say up there is one of the best days is seeing one of my favorite little cancer kids face as they rang their end of treatment bell knowing that my team helped in a small part of their journey. That is so beautiful. That is so, so beautiful and wonderful. Um, for those of you who don't know, you know, when they get to ring the bell, it's kind of a sign that your treatment is over or that you're cancer free. Um, so that's a beautiful thing. And that, you know, the fact that you were able to be part of that little kid's journey, they're gonna remember you forever um, as being somebody who took care of them during probably one of the hardest times of their life. So that's really beautiful. And congrats to that little kid and congrats to you. That's a really, really beautiful, emotional story. I can imagine that being, you know, something that sticks with you. Um, all right, underscore on my underscore Aries underscore tip, or Shayana says, um, the best day ever, was the first time I traveled internationally. Me and my sister had worked really hard to save up and we planned the trip all by ourselves with no help. Kudos to you, I could not, ever. Um, I discovered a sense of independence and power that I never knew was possible. That's so amazing. I love traveling as well. I think that's so beautiful. I'm lucky enough that I get to travel with my best friend as well. And there's there's nothing quite as fun as just traveling with your best friend. Uh, my best friend and I, who we travel together all the time for work, but we always say we never had the chance to travel outside of work or plan a trip independently of work. So I'm glad you guys got to do that. Um, hopefully we get to do that as well. I hope you had an amazing time. Internationally is also super fun, traveling the world. Next, um, GWS Limbo, or Emmy, says, mine is probably the day I got my dog. Oh, I feel that. Um, my entire family saw her at the shelter and immediately decided she was going home with us. And now we've had her for 10 years, and she's my best friend. Got her when I was 10, and I'm turning 20 this year. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, dogs are the best friends in the entire world. Um, I just got a dog too, and so I know the feeling now. For a fact, um, you know, dogs are just the best friends, the best just thing in the world. I feel like I'm always gonna be a dog mom. So congratulations, 10 years, that's a beautiful thing. Or he or she has basically been with you um, your entire life. So that's a huge, huge deal. Dogs are just amazing. Kenya or Kara Next Door says, definitely when I found out I got into theater school and was given the chance to study the profession of my dreams. Amazing, congratulations on that. Um, I used to be a theater kid as well, um, but I don't think I'm, you know, I don't think I was ever very good at it. So I imagine you're a lot better than me. Um, I hope you get to continue to pursue your dreams. Congrats and best of luck on your future in theater. That's amazing. Madi or Stars Hollow or Lost, Lost in Avocado, <laughs> great name says, when I did skydiving for the first time this year because it was always something I wanted to do, but I never had the courage because I have fear of heights. I was glad I got over it because it was such an amazing moment and I literally couldn't stop smiling for one second. That's amazing. I could never do that. So shout out to you for being brave. That sounds like an incredible thing. If you do, you know, make it and if you do finish, I feel like it'd be an amazing feeling, but my fear is always that I won't make it down. <laughs> but congrats on making it down, on surviving and on enjoying it. That's really, I feel like that's definitely a bucket list moment for a lot of us. Evermore Cara says, July 11th, 2019, that's my birthday. I had my final therapy session for my eating disorder after two and a half years. I remember leaving the building, listening to Scars to Your Beautiful, wow, and feeling so proud of myself for taking that journey. Wow, again, I'm so honored that I was a part of, you know, one of your best days in that way. That is so, so amazing, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. That must be such an amazing feeling to, you know, overcome something like that. I imagine it was very difficult, but um, that should be a testament to all of your hard work and um, growth. So congrats, I'm very happy for you and proud of you. And I hope you're doing well. All right, a few more. I think this is our second last one, and then we got one more. Um, number one bluebird stand, thank you, <laughs> Tom. I'm 100% the day my baby sister was born and came home. In 20 years, I've never felt so much love and happiness in one room. I remember just sitting there for hours staring at her and holding her, and now she's six months old. Oh my gosh, time flies, it feels like yesterday. And obviously the pains of growing release, duh. Well, thank you. Of course the pains of growing release, but that is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. 
Um, I imagine, so you were 20 years old when your sister was born, which is such an amazing thing because you get to be old enough to remember it and help raise her, which is so amazing. I feel like she's going to look up to you and love you so much in her life. So, wow. I would love to meet her one day, too. I love babies six months old. That's a great age, too, because they start, you know, shaping their view of the world and their little personalities. So congrats to you and your family. That's really beautiful. Um, lastly, um, but not least, um, Ruby or Terondalesia says, I think the best day for me was when I found a video of my grandma. I forgot her voice, and when I played the video, I cried because it was so calming and beautiful to hear her voice again. Oh, wow. It's been so hard to live without her, but the best days for me is when I remember the, the days and beautiful moments we spent with her. I also feel emptiness when I look out of the window and she's not there, but it's kind of comfortable when I remember the way she talked about her plants and how she's always doing anything in her garden. That is so sweet. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful thing. I feel like, I don't know if you believe in signs and things like that, but I like to believe that, you know, when people pass on, um, they're always around us and they send us little signs. So maybe you finding that video was her way of kind of sending you a message that she's still there and still with you. Um, and that's the beauty of, of having these memories, you know, and having these best days is that they'll always stay with us, you know, whether they become memories or whether we forget the details of them, we'll always have them um, in our hearts and we'll always remember them no matter how much time goes by. And I hope and wish for all of you way more best days in the future, but I'm glad you guys got to have these ones and I'm glad that you shared them with me. I had a lovely time reading them. So thank you. And uh, I'm gonna go and have another best day right now. I'll take this with me. I don't know, find a goldfish or something.